What is up guys, DZ here, and the other day, earlier this week, I went into GameStop to buy one of the uh, Switch versions of the GameCube controller so I can play it for Smash Ultimate, and I noticed that there was a sale going on, and I had heard about this sale from House of Champs, but I thought it was just an online only thing, and that's that GameStop, up, up until through Christmas, which is pretty crazy to think about, every single trading card product in their store and online is buy one get one free which is ridiculous now i've heard that uh as far as online goes i think they're sold out of a lot of stuff like the soul fusion special editions and many of the newer products but at least in stores they seem to have a lot of stuff around and what i ended up getting i got a uh one of the, <laughs> the legendary collection twos but also i ended up getting uh, the legendary collection kaiba which uh it's been a while since we've opened one of these i mean we that's like the the start of the whole meme right like opening this pack or this set over and over and over again pulled so many ash blossoms but i thought it'd be fun to open this on camera um that's just way too good of a deal not to pass up getting two 30 products for just 30 dollars is crazy um but we'll try to open both of them in today's video if we have enough time i think it'd be kind of fun and uh, yeah so this is, should be at every single gamestop i don't know if it's uh the gamestops outside of the u.s is gamestop even like around europe and south america i'm not actually sure but uh, at least for the u.s ones it seems to be everywhere from michigan and texas because house of champ uh opened his or got stuff at his game stop it looks like it's the deal is happening so i uh, definitely uh always double check when you order at or when you check out that uh you actually are getting the deal and not overpaying for stuff but uh yeah it seemed like everything in there and i saw some other uh, like parents getting their kids some pokemon packs too which was cool so anyway the uh the legendary collection god man what a great set. We've opened so many of these. I won't waste your time looking at the, the game board as much as uh, I love the game board. Um, so this set, I mean, this has a special place in my heart. There's so many cool cards in here. Obviously, I'm a, a big fan of uh, the VW cards. And there's just so many cool stuff in here. It's great. Um, as far as these promo cards go, we can kind of look at them in uh, hindsight here. So got a Sweet Revenge. Didn't see any play as I expected. But a couple of people predicted this would see play. I don't know why. And then we have uh, King of D, and then Destruction Dragon, Dragon Revival Rhapsody, and Lord Loop of Destruction. Um, obviously, these two cards didn't see play at all. This is where it gets interesting. I thought that Dragon Revival Rhapsody would be the better of these two cards. Um, turns out I was wrong, though. The King of D is actually very good. The Dragon Revival Rhapsody, which I thought was going to be really, really good, um, especially in the Invoked version, just ends up not being consistent enough. Sometimes it's a one of, but a lot of times you don't play either of these cards. But at least in the early testing that I was doing with these cards, in different decks and live streams um the king of d ended up being a lot better so that was actually a, a huge surprise on my part i thought the king of d just wouldn't be good enough it turns out uh searching melody is pretty dang good okay so let's let's open these great packs i believe it goes two secret rares all ultra rares and then two secret rares uh majesty with eyes of blue got <laughs> azure eyes silver dragon i'm sure Duel Links players will recognize that bad boy out there I almost put this down there, I guess. Um, we got Heavy Mech Support Platform. Um, that card that I can't pronounce, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I think like all the artworks in this set, or almost all of them. Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Fusion Sage, pretty bad card. Just Desserts, which uh, this doesn't seem like an important reprint, but it actually is the first holographic print of it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Call of the Grave, well, kind of that monster born, and B Buster Drake, which uh, at the very least, the uh, A is unlimited again, so you can actually play the ABC strategy. I'll just put those in a pile. The ultra rares don't matter. I mean, I opened so much of the set. It, it's crazy. I sold most of the, the bulk. I have a place that of pretty much every card from the set still, but everything else I just sold. People always ask what I do with uh, the, the packs that I buy. A lot of times I just sell the bulk to uh, friends or vendors. Um, anyway, the Flute of Summoning Dragon. Pretty cool secret rare. Majesty with Eyes of Blue. Again, kind of disappointing. The Monarch Stormforth. Pretty cool. Y Dragon Head. Tyrant Wing. Judge Man, fantastic card. We just, John just sent us that uh, super rare version of this card. Pretty crazy. Shrink, uh, Blue Eyes Tin Burst Dragon, and we got <laughs> Interdimensional Matter Transporter. It's a weird card to print a secret rare. And Dragon Spirit of White, which I think is my uh, favorite secret rare upgrade from the Blue Eyes cards in the set, even more so than uh, Return, which is uh, very nice in secret rare as well. But uh, Dragon Spirit of White, I think that looks really, really nice as a secret rare instead of an ultra rare. Although. For personally, I just try to use the original prints for all those cards, or the highest rarity, whatever. Um, the Flute of Summoning Dragon again, oh my gosh. Uh, White Stone of Legend, pretty cool looking card. I'm a fan. 
Got another Monarch Stormforth, Y Dragon Head. Oh my gosh, this is in the same order. Why does this keep happening? This literally happened a lot. This keeps. <laughs> Whatever. Um, at least these ones are different. Rider of the Stormwinds, Judgeman again, Shrink again, Loop of Destruction. Yep, they. I think the biggest complaint about this was that they printed the promo cards as ultras and then they also put them in as secrets. Um, I think that I personally complained about that a lot as well. And then Return of the Dragon Lord is one of the nicer looking cards in the set. Not my favorite, but definitely um because the problem with this card is that the super rare printing you like can't see the artwork at all or you can't see the holographic foiling so as a secret rare it looks a lot nicer so uh, that's sort of our kaiba collection experience no ash blossom um that card is still pretty pricey so that'd have been pretty cool but it's it's no big deal we we have uh, enough ash blossoms i can't even remember how many we pulled like three or four um but obviously i already have my place so we'll slide those on over and then we'll move on to the legendary collection 2 now i've already made an entire video talking about this legendary collection um the, the the too long didn't watch version is that this is like a reprint of a reprint um which is pretty cool i guess it's a really popular pack and honestly the the average value of the cards in this set are probably higher than the kaiba collection there is a ton of fantastic stuff in here so that's very exciting so we can open this but uh, the legendary collection 2 in particular was uh one of the most popular if not the most popular legendary collections obviously the kaiba collection is very popular because of ash blossom um, but this one had so much good stuff in here um, obviously it's not an all holographic set but that's okay you got lots of crazy stuff and uh, this particular one was reprinted and well i guess that's kind of why it's been re re reprinted um so it saw like uh, original print which was the uh, binder version and then it saw a print as the raw yellow mega pack which was just selling the packs individually lots of stuff there were there only four? Oh, this is this is one. Oh, there's five there's five can't count okay we'll open the promo pack even though we uh, just looked at this a couple weeks ago I'm a fan though I uh, highly recommend buying this just for fun there's lots of cool stuff like this is like the thickest section of promos that you'll ever see in a uh, legendary collection or any Yu-Gi-Oh product really uh, so we have Revio, Lord of Phantasms we got Uriah we got Hammond all the cool sacred beast monsters that no one plays we got the Dark Lords the original uh, prize cards that are this was their first reprint that was a pretty big deal and uh, man I don't know it's it's probably just me but uh, I actually, I'm starting to really miss the old school foiling um, on these ultra rares. New ultra rares just don't do it for me anymore. Like uh, I actually, if you look at these, the difference here is that the the stars and the attribute are like foiled on the new ones. Um, I actually kind of miss the old style. I don't know if I'm the only person that does that. I don't know. It's just, uh, I can't quite put my finger on it, but the, I like the old style a lot. When I open these older cards, they just look really nice. I noticed that when I pulled the Invader of Darkness in that last couple back openings or whatever. Cyber Larva, <laughs> Line Alligator, Spawn Alligator. Elm Material Great Tornado, Parallel World Fusion, pretty good card. Dragonic Tactics, which I, I guess the thing that I missed with Dragonic Tactics the last time I mentioned it, it's not like a minus three, it's just a minus two. It's the same amount of minus that you would take if you just summon the monster from your hand. So it's a little better than I thought. It's not that great though. And then uh, Court of Justice, which is uh, pretty terrible. So those are all the promo cards, not super important there, but they're cool, I guess. Um, but where the real meat and potatoes of the set is, it's all in the actual packs. Uh, one thing about these though is that they do give you commons which is fun so we have dd survivor light of redemption pretty cool card thunder king arao fantastic reprint um you guys might not know this but this card was really really tough to come by i can't remember if this reprint came before the gold series reprint but at the very least this was the first common printing of this card and man people were freaking out that's a very good reprint um hero ring as a super rare oh my gosh gallus the star beast awesome i think this is still worth something the uh, ba is kind of not so hot right now but this card um shot up in price because of ba that's that's great um and then we have arcus <laughs> Light Sworn Druid. Um, Destiny Hero Defender, Rainbow Path, and Destiny Hero Captain Tenacious. Yeah, Gallus is a, an excellent card to pull. Well, probably one of the best cards in this set to pull, unless its price like went way down. Pretty sure, though. It's pretty expensive. Or relatively expensive. We got Elemental Hero Captain Gold, Six Samurai Yaraza, Evil Hero Wild Cyclone. I think last time we pulled an Evil Hero and I called him an Elemental Hero. They're evil. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Elemental Hero fanboys. Uh, Cyber End Dragon as a secret. That looks pretty cool. I'm a fan of the uh, the Ultra Rare myself, but it'll work. And then we got Garoth. Very nice. It's a pretty good lights one. Grand Convergence. 
Fusion Recovery, Neospatian Flare Scarab, and o Oversoul. Maybe we can pull an Aqua Dolphin. That'd be pretty crazy. Who knows? All right. Hero Counter Attack, Elm to Hero Avian, DD Crow. Nice super rare to pull. It's kind of hard to show on camera that it's super rare. That's kind of like the problem with the, the Return of the Dragon Lords card, where it's hard to see a super rare. But that's a very good super to pull. Um, Gladiator Beast War Cherry, a card that definitely, hopefully, never makes it to Duel Links. Uh, this card is pretty crazy. One of the reasons why Glads are so good. And oh yeah, we got a Dimensional Prison. This would have been a very good, this would have been a, a fantastic Legendary Collection to open back in the day. We got Thunder King, we got D Prison, we got DD Crow, we got all sorts of stuff. So this is why this is why it's set so good. Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy, Captain Hero, or Destiny Hero Captain Tenacious, Skyscraper, and Hero Kid, which uh, recently saw some play in some of those uh, Dark Warrior decks. I don't think it actually topped, but it's, it's topped a couple things, just not the last event. You can do some pretty nutty combos by summoning that with his old uh, Rise of the Snake Deity, Elemental Hero Neos, Elemental Hero Tempest, awesome, Destiny Hero Disc Commander with the beautiful pre rotted effect. When this card is special summoned from the graveyard, draw two cards, non once per turn effect, pretty nutty. And then, oh, that is probably one of the better uh, pulls from this set, right? Ames Infusion Ultra Rare. Obviously, it now has a, an ultimate rare print team, but for a while, these ultra rares were like 10 bucks a piece, right? When Norton came out, I remember picking those up for like seven bucks, and I was like, wow, what a great deal. Uh, Crystal Blessing, Six Samurai, come on. Featherwind and Space Gift. One of those cards that uh, probably would have been good if the actual dedicated Neo Spatian deck ended up being good. A lot of people, uh, I still get comments on that. Um, what is it like the, the protagonist Ace Monster video where I mentioned that Neos is like really bad and people like comment, well, what about all the new support? Uh, yeah, it still sucks. I'm sorry. I wish it was good to think those cards are cool, but uh, yeah, it's not. Okay, the last pack here Ancient City. Rainbow Ruins, Crystal Beast, Emer Emerald Tortoise, Elemental Hero, Storm Neos. What a funny looking card. And then uh, Dark Lord. Do you notice how like some of these packs have two commons and then uh, the super and some of these have three? Or am I just like, am I not? Oh, I'm pretty sure it does that order. I don't know. Uh, Dark Lord Desire. Pretty cool. Elemental Hero, Malicious Edge. Wow, what a... N <laughs> I have not seen this as a secret rare. This was... I re remember having the ultimate rare revisions of this card. I used to like this card a lot. If your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute summon this card with one tribute. If this card attacks, defense vision monster inflict piercing damage to your opponent. We even pulled... Uh, one second here. We even pulled the, the combo card to use with that, which is uh, Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy. This card says, if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card uh, from your hand in face of attack position. During the end phase, if you tribute this card, this turn and tribute summon a hero monster draw one card so you'd special summon this tribute it for malicious edge attack do some piercing damage draw a card in the end phase it was great i mean it wasn't but i thought it was and then we have uh armatile the chaos phantom which i i didn't review in the sacred beast video which is uh i don't know i don't think this card is actually worth reviewing it's i think it's pretty clearly bad uh maybe it's worth doing a video on like all the cards like this like we have old blue eyes ultimate dragon and stuff like that um i think most people understand that this card isn't very good but it's cool you don't see a lot of monsters with uh 10,000 attack so <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird to even see a card printed with five digits in the effect um, anyway, Elm Tiro Steam Healer, Skystraper, and then another Hero Kid. We didn't pull a place at a Hero Kid. That would have been kind of cool. Um, anyway, though, that is going to be it for today's uh, pack review video, this, this sale review video. Um, yeah, go to GameStop if you want to get some sweet deals. No, this is not sponsored, obviously. I don't even think I have to say that. Uh, but they, they could have stuff. You could just get, like, a couple packs and get them for really cheap. Or you could go with what I did and buy some Legendary Collections and get those for cheap. Uh, obviously, the more you buy, the better deal you get because if you buy like two hundred dollars worth of stuff you're getting a hundred dollars off which is just ridiculous but uh yeah go to gamestop this sale is going through christmas so you can buy stuff for yourself buy stuff for your friends do whatever you want open them on your channel be that pack opening channel you've always wanted to be anyway though i'll see you guys later thank you so much for watching goodbye